there, I'm Josh Thomas from Rupert and Josh Do Stuff, and today I'm going to be doing a video game review. I'm going to be reviewing Friday the 13th, the game for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Uh, it came out a couple of weeks ago, so the review's a little bit late. Uh, overview of the game goes as uh, Friday the 13th is a crowd-funded survival horror online game in which six players are dropped into a map as camp counselors and one player is dropped into the map as Jason Voorhees, the famous horror movie killer. Jason's aim is, of course, to murder everyone in every conceivable way he can. Counselors have got to escape if they can, or kill other team members if my online experience is to be proven. Uh, the gameplay. Uh, the gameplay, the game's pretty simple. It functions very much like games like uh, Dead by Daylight. Um, counselors have got to set traps, hide. Um, it's not anything particularly new, but it's, uh, it's great for what the setting is, it definitely feels a lot like the movies, and if you're a fan of the movies, it's got a real immersive atmosphere. The uh, composers to the movies, uh, Harry Manfredini does the music, and uh, Kane Hodder, who played Jason in the movies, also gets the mocap for all of uh, Jason's uh, roles. Um, the graphics, uh, it's a crowdfunded game, and I've seen a lot of the professional reviews coming out and saying that the graphics are a little bit pap, but you know, you're getting what you pay for. This is all funded by fans, so. Maybe ignore those. Um, there are some glitches, there are some issues, so be wary of those going into it, especially, I think, on Xbox One, where the matchmaking has been garbage. But the, the graphics overall, it's an Unreal 4 ending game. What, 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 are you, what are you really expecting for that? Um, moving back towards gameplay, that can have its issues as well. There's been a number of glitches, but that's all being fixed once again by a patchwork. I think with time, this game's got potential to be something really good, especially with continued support from Gun Media, who are really supported uh, Facebook posts and Twitter updates. Everything like that, they've been a really supportive company. And uh, that we got a story mode coming out in the summer, which I'm informed is going to be uh, sort of a play the movies kind of deal, which I'm very excited for as a fan of the franchise. And I think it's a really nice horror game for anyone to really get into. It's a very easy pick up and play. I have someone in my, uh, my flat who's not even a particular fan of the franchise, and even he's had some real joy in watching me either be murdered or kill people and cheering along with it all. So, moving on to an overall verdict on the uh, on the whole experience, I mean, it's really just a short review for this one, because there's not a lot to it, and that's really in its detriment. Uh, the graphics are fine, the gameplay uh, with continued support is going to only come from strength to strength, and I think it's really a game that's going to improve. And I'm a huge fan of the franchise, so maybe I'm a little bit biased, but as it stands right now, I'm going to give Friday the 13th a 7 and a half out of 10, and highly recommend everyone go pick it up as soon as they can and support the community because it's only going to get better. Thank you and please like, subscribe and follow us on Twitter. I'm at Bellingham93. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.